we have seen that the single use plastic has been in the news so that's why it's uh, imperative to discuss about the pla single use plastic for the upsc's prelims as well as mains viewpoint so let's start with the single use plastic discussion as far as prelims is concerned regarding if we see the single use plastic the nodal agency to implement and monitor the single use plastic ban in country is by the ministry of environment forest and climate change this is important for the exam point of view the second important is that is a nodal agency the last year in the august 2021 cpcb central pollution control board notified that the plastic ban will be applicable in country in india from the july 1st 2022 so in that view to enforce that order of the cpcb 1st july 22 is a day when plastic is banned in the country now the ban of the plastic is applicable to what are the parameters that is to be banned according to the order of the cpcb the first is the 75 micron single use plastic the thickness of 75 micron is applied for this ban and then second is the 100 microns for the pvc hoardings those are used in the advertisement are also banned of the thickness if they are less than 100 or equal to 100 micron and the ban will be blanket for the entire sale use import manufacturing importing exporting everything and is stocking as well so this is the about the banning of the plastic the second is the blanket ban if you see the entire plastic will be banned by the 31st december of 2022 this year itself and the thickness of the entire plastic ban will be applicable to the plastic those are having less than 120 micron and to ban to be implemented the plastic waste management amendment rule 2020 is the statutory backing for this ban okay but if any violation is committed then in that case the punitive action or action will be taken as per the environmental protection act 1986 so this is very important that punishment and punitive action will be as per the provision of environmental protection act 1986 and the banning implementation or enforcement of ban of single use plastic is as per the plastic waste management amendment rule 2021 so this is about the prelims regarding single use plastic now next the mains perspective about this single use plastic is that very first we need to understand what is a single use plastic if we see the the definition the generalized or generic definition of this single use plastic is that plastic or any plastic made object intended to be used only once before being discarded of or disposed of so this is the definition regarding plastic of single use and why government embark in the that rule to ban the entire single use plastic so there are some concerns the first is socio economic concern the socio economic concern is that the single use plastic or sup is something which is available extensively the extensive footprint it is something a uh, omnipresent across the places or sites of the country so this is one of the reason and the second is the low utility low utility and high littering potential the high littering potential that means that it is something the single use plastic is having a very vast tendency or vast potential to litter the our places so it 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 going to be a aesthetic issue the second the less amenable and viable recycling as because of this high potential to littering and present or we can found it everywhere across the streets or lanes or any city then obviously the the collection by the rag pickers or any agency those are supposed to implement the collection operations 
it is not easy to collect each and every discarded plastic. So it become a issue that a single plastic can be that that can be eliminated from the our places. So Bible recycling again because of the if plastic is less than 75 micron then there is the issue of recyclability that if manufacturers has only options that they has to go for plastic remanufacturing through the recycling process that may be less than even 40 micron. So again it will be the issue that is why it is not the viable option for the recycling of the plastic those are less than 75 micron. So this is why the socioeconomic concerns are there and the environmental endangerment are the another issues the ecological threat to the because of this SUP is a non biodegradability that is uh, one of the issue because of its long lasting or lasting presence in our ecosystem and that can issue create a issue to our like uh, bioaccumulation process or biomagnification in which it can enters into the our food system or food web so or we can say the food chain so that is the issue of the plastic to remain in the environment for the long time the second is a toxic leach if plastic is disposed of in any place or any landfill site then it has a tendency to percolate downward to the our water aquifers or water reservoirs the water which you, we use to consume for our portable purposes or drinking purposes so it can contaminate our water and it may be further lead to the our health issues and the soil degradation is obvious that if soil is not supplied with the organic matter and organic matter if replaced by the plastics and obviously it is not going to be a the healthy thing for the soil and soil nutrition will be obviously the nutrient contents of soil will be degraded and ultimately that lead to the that repercussion to our crops health as well and productivity. So threats, threats to sensitive marine ecology obviously the marine ecosystem is one of the sensitive ecosystem in, in our earth and if that is went up to that place of seas or any site of water bodies then obviously that will threat to the imposed threat to the marine ecology. So these are the two major heads of ecological concern and socioeconomic concern of the single use plastic. The next is that there are some reports regarding to the single use plastic in which we will see the socio ecological perspective. The first study recently that has been undertaken uh, that, that has been provided by the report of Mindaro Foundation 2021. This is one of the Australian foundation, Australia based foundation. And the first point or first study they have presented that single use plastic comprises one third of all plastic across the globe. So it comprises about 33 percent of the plastic. The second important finding is that 98 percent manufacturing of the single use plastic are based on the fossil fuel. So obviously the use we can say the share of fossil fuel while manufacturing the single use plastic. That means if we continue the manufacturing of single use plastic for the future as well then it is really going to exploit or undermine our fossil fuel and that will ultimately lead to the emission of greenhouse gases and it is estimated that 5 to 10 percent global greenhouse gases will be because of the single use plastic by 2050. So this is very important and the, the another finding is that the top single use plastic generators are in the world are the first is Singapore, second is Australia and if we see the India's place then we find the India at the 94th standing. So this is about the Mindaro Foundation 2021 study report about SUP. The second estimate or second report provided by the IUCN International Union for Conservation of the Nature. In the year 2019, they reported that 80 percent of marine debris, or the marine waste materials are from the discarded plastic. So this is 
the bigger issue again the plastic alone had the lion's share in the marine pollution that we can conclude from this finding and the second is the per year 14 million ton plastic are entering into the ocean bodies or our seas so we can imagine the how much will be the great potential or how can it damage our ecosystem and marine environment in particular because of this SUP use. So, that is these are the some of the key finding and the next is what are the global efforts in the view of the menace that can be the because of this single use plastic is that the India in the year 2019 led the resolution at fourth environment UN environment assembly to address the single use plastic lead pollution. So, if we see the United Nation General uh, United Nation Environment Assembly, it was initiated in the year 2012 and from the year 2014. This assembly used to meet binally, okay. In the two years, binally means two years, in every two years, United Environment, United Nations Environment Assembly used to meet and to take the decision regarding the any environmental concerns or the matter of environment importance. So, in the year 2019, India was the first country or the pioneer to put the resolution regarding SUP ban. And the later on, by the year 2000, in the next fifth United Nations Environment Assembly, in the succeeded year, we have seen that 124 countries developed the consensus to binding the single use plastic and possibly there may be a, a day when this banning of I SUP or single use plastic will be the legal binding and binding to the entire United Nations members. So, these are the developments. Second is the second, sec 68 countries till date have initiated the plastic ban and Bangladesh was the first country in the our earth who or they banned the single use plastic for the first time in the year 2002. Marching ahead, now if we ban the single use plastic, there are some another repercussions as well or maybe immediate issues can be again generated like with the heading of Im imminent implication, we can see in the part of manufacturers of this single use plastic. So, what can be the issue for them? With some study and preliminary reports, those are established in these days, they say that the about to close because of the single use plastic ban, that about 88,000 plastic manufacturing unit will be closed down. This is one of the potential repercussion of the single use plastic ban. Second, the employment, those are people directly or indirectly dependent upon these 88,000 manufacturing units, about 10 lakh people and their employment will be at the stake. And the second thing is that India's export, about 25,000 crore of export are out of plastic based materials. So, obviously, it will going to again the eclipse the India's export potential. On the service providers part, this was for the manufacturer part, now for the service provider part, particularly service providing agencies like fast moving consumer goods like in the service in the railway, catering services, airlines. These are the sectors those provide their customers or passengers for any food or any hospitalities to be undertaken, they generally tend to wrap or produce or serve the th foods in form of plastic packaged materials. So, that is these are the fast moving consumer goods companies are the agencies or entities will be again impacted because of this single use plastic ban in our country. So, these are the imminent implications. Now, if we see the what can be the alternative and way forward for this single use plastic ban. The first alternative 
and as a solution for the single use plastic is that the use of biodegradables we know that how jute kadi these are the sustainable as well as biodegradable materials and also not only biodegradables but it will also encourage our industries those industries are in the state of phase of the dying because of the high market competition and easy availability and affordability these jute and kadi bags or that based materials of packaging or any are under the decline so that is uh, one of the alternative or best alternative is that using of biodegradable materials and as well as in the government part there should be some incentivization or incent that provision of incentives that can support and underpin the these jute and kadi companies or kadi based companies the second is adopting traditional way our country has been having a culture of that serving the food items particularly in the any organic materials like in the bamboo spoon in southern part of india we have seen that bananas leaves are used for the in in place of plates so these are the our traditional way that can really help to success of this single use plastic ban and the second are the if anything is to be carried those are presently with the help of single use plastics material then we can replace that by the using the lasting package like made of copper steel aluminum as you have seen that copper is something where if we contain a water in the copper made utensil or any jug then it is really considered a helpful for our digestive system as well as for the health so this is these are to be reintroduced in our culture or our practices this another point is consuming fresh food items instead of frozen is again this culture is to be inculcated again because in present era we have very much dependent or we are tending to adopt the food culture of frozen or packaged food so if we adopt that consuming less packaged or frozen foods then automatically the use of single use plastics or any any other material used for the packaging will be come down so it will help for our this ecological as well as for our socio economic concerns it may be help the second is another the behavioral change this is very much important that carrying bag is to be become a new normal generally we tend to because of this attitudinal this is the aspect our attitude is of that way that we generally do not like to carry a bag with us if we go to the any shop or any vegetable market so this is something and here now it is become a need of our to change our attitudes to be rectified to be corrected well and the last but not the least is that the fight against plastic can only be won or that victory can be achieved if the everybody or if this process of fighting against single use plastic become a mass movement so this is very much important that how we can combat with this single use plastic so with this i would like to conclude the today's discussion session here and uh, apart from that i would like to inform you guys that in our institute here in delhi we are organizing or conducting a gs foundational course for the upsc civil services as well as optional geography optional subject are also that that is that module is also available in our institute apart from that the mains writing program for the geography optional as well as upsc mains is also going on so you can please check or visit our website www.integratededusystems.com and for the much or more queries please you can also comment in our comment box that is given below and uh, apart from that for the today we'll meet next session with something a new or important news for that matter i thank you thank you for being with me